hey what's up everybody welcome to my channel with a brand new video and today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix out the d3d11 error into the fortnite chapter 3 with your any pc build with your any gpu you have intel cpu you have amd gpu you have nvidia whatever guys pc build you have this video work for you and you can easily fix out the error of the d3 on your computer so guys let's start over this video but make sure to complete follow every step otherwise guys if you miss any step of this video this will not work for you so therefore make sure to watch this complete video so how do guys start so first of all you need to guys download this d3d11 gpu fix pack on your computer this is a very advanced pack and by using it you can fix it so how to download you can simply guys go into the descriptions of this video there is a download link available click on this download and that will take you directly onto my this website once you are here on this website you need to go for the search icon and search for the d3d11 which is the error name and here you will find out this post click on this post and scroll all the way down and here you will find out this download button click on this download button it will take you onto the recognize click on this subscribe button make sure guys subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification once you do this thing now then close out this tab and now just you need to wait for two to three seconds and this link will be automatically unlocked on your pc so guys here our link is unlocked you need to click on this unlock link button and it will take you directly onto the uh, google drive click on this download button now click on this download anyway and download this back on your pc this is a 103 megabyte file so simply download it I have already got one here on my desktop you need to simply right click here click on the extract here button and you will get this folder on your desktop open up this folder here is two file first one is the visual c runtime all in one october 2018 you need to open up this first folder again open up this folder open up again and here is the install uh, underscore all your bad file for installing all of these files one by one automatically you not need to install these manually so how to do simply double click here click yes and it will start installing all of these files one by one on your computer i have guys already uh, run all these files on my computer so therefore i'm not installing these files again simply i'm closing out this window and uh, you need to simply install all of these files on your computer i have already done so therefore i'm not doing it so once you're done now you need to go back into the guys previous or the main directory of this boost pack and here is our DirectX uh, end time guys web setup so you need to simply double click here and install this DirectX end time simply click i accept the agreement click next and install this DirectX on your computer because mostly this error happened because of this DirectX runtime component a file is missing so make sure to guys update this on your computer and here is this error setup it could not download the file please try again later click ok and you need to guys install it on your pc i have already done so therefore i'm getting this error but guys if you do this so this will 100 percent install the directx uh, runtime uh, end time uh, component on your computer which is missing from it so now press finish and once you guys done with it now i'm going to show you some other settings for your fortnite so you need to guys first of all delete all of the previous temporary junk data from your computer which caused this error so how do you need to press windows r together from your keyboard type here temp press enter and delete all of these files from here click continue and uh, now click do this for all and skip then close out it now you need to press again windows r and guys now put the percent design before and after the temp press enter delete all of these files from your computer click continue and uh, now do this for all and skip this file once you're done now close out this folder and now you need to go into the directory where you have installed your fortnite so i have installed and mostly people also install the fortnite in the c drive go into the local c program file epic game fortnite fortnite game binary v 4 and here is our fortnite guys uh, file so now what you need to do you need to go for this first exit file right click here go for the properties uh, let me just open it again go in the properties go for the compatibility and check mark onto the disable full script optimization also check mark onto the run this window in compatible mode if you have windows 7 so i suggest you to guys turn on this option and set it onto the windows 8 and but if you have windows 10 so simply leave this option then go for the change high dpa settings 
also check mark here click ok hit apply click ok and do the same thing with all these xp files for the fortnite once you've done this now guys go for this battle eye the d3d and uh, the easy anti cheat these two are most important for uh, first go into this battle eye folder open up this one and here is this uninstall the battle eye dot bat files and double click here click yes click yes again and click ok once you're done now go back go into the is the anti cheat open up the setup click yes here is the interface you need to click on to this repair service and it is repair first it will uninstall it and then install it again then hit finish and close out this window guys once you're done with it now i'm going to show you some settings for your uh, windows which also cause this issue so you need to go in your windows settings and here go into the update and security and guys make sure to always update your windows onto the latest version because this is also the one reason of getting this error so therefore make sure to update your window onto the latest, latest version once you're done now go into the home section go for this gaming option and make sure to turn off the xbox game bar go for the game mode and turn on the game mode on your computer now close out this window and once you're done now guys you need to go into the control panel of your gpu if you have the amd intel or the nvidia you need to go into the control panel of your nvidia or the amd or the intel i have already made a dedicated video for the amd nvidia or the uh, intel control panel so you can visit my channel and also watch those video the best settings for your control panel of your cpu and your gpu and uh, guys simply follow all of the settings once you follow my that video after first complete watch this video then go for that other videos like the best settings for intel control panel the best settings for amd control panel or the best settings for the nvidia control panel so once you're done the settings for your nvidia or the gpu control panel now you need to guys do another most important settings which is the power player settings so how to do it you need to go into the windows search and search for the power and sleep settings open up the settings go for additional power settings and here you will go to this kind of interface so you need to set it on to the high performance but i am using the pitsum high performance because this is one of the best cpu optimized performance power plan for your computer how you can get this option guys you need to download the power control on your computer and simply follow all of the settings simply select out the bit some high performance make it activate and you will get guys this bit some high performance in your this power plan settings and guys how to download the power controls for on your computer you need to open up uh, the browser go on my website which is the uh, download pack link available you need to uh, go for the search and search for the park control and press enter from your keyboard and you will find out download park control to boost fps open up this post click on this download button and download the software also on your pc and guys once you're done with all of the settings now one time you need to simply restart your computer and then launch your fortnite and guys you will not get any kind of the error again on your computer i hope so you love this so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification leave a like on this video until at the next video guys peace out